Hi everybody, it's Simon Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I have got a different shaped card for you today. This is, I'm going to call this a panel, um, no, a screen card, that's what I thought. Um, and basically it comes out like this and then you open it out and you can see this bit in the middle wobbles and it will stand up like a screen. So you have this piece here and I'm going to show you how I've connected it so it means it just wobbles about on the front but I think it looks really cool. And then on the back I've put some um, white paper there just so that you can obviously write your message and then you can pop it flat like so into a four by eight and a half envelope which was done on the envelope punch board um, or you can do it that way in the envelope as well and it will work but you need to make sure that your whatever you're using doesn't go any further than four inches if it does you'll just have to change your measurements for your envelope so yeah I think that's quite fun so a screen card dead easy and quick because I'm using some decoupage today so I'm going to show you all the new bits and pieces that I've got so I've done the matching envelope there as well so it's really really fun um, so I have had a splurge and brought all of this stuff here there are a few other bits that I'm still waiting to get um, and this is the new um, trim craft beach life collection by Hell's Couple Ditch and basically you can see there you've got the dies you've got these puffy bunting stickers embellishments, more little sentiments, these um, little oval frames and then this is a decoupage pack and I don't often do this but do you know what it's brilliant it's really fun and it makes quick cards so these are all different scenes and I think it was four of each that you get and I'm going to be doing this one here with the little mice and the ice cream so that's really good and then these are the papers I love 12 by 12 paper packs and again and you can see here if it's picking up can you see some of these I've got the um, the glitter on there and the one with the little rubber rings and it's just a really fun with the beautiful weather we're having at the moment in the UK um, this is just really really fun to use you've got the beach huts buckets and spades um, more bunting I purchased all of this from Amazon I'll share links you've got the shells and the shellfish just some nice like beach hut um, paper there so yeah and that one there's really funny with the little critters and stuff so that is what I've got and like I always do I will share those links over on my blog so today I am bringing in let's just bring this one around here so that's the envelope punch board and like I said it was the where am I um, four by eight and a half you need a piece of nine by seven and um, nine and seven eighths by nine and seven eighths your first score line is three and three eighths of an inch. Okay, so that's what you need there. I'm just going to pop that down on the floor. Okay, so you are going to need a piece of 12 by eight and a half inch cardstock. Scoring along the 12 inch side, you're just going to score it every two inches. So two, four, six, eight, and ten. Okay, so that's all you need to do there. You can just see all those score lines. Um, that's it for the scoreboard. So I'm just going to pop that to one side as well. Okay, so you then need two white panels for your back so you can write your message. These measure one and, th um, one and three quarters by um, eight and a quarter. So two in white and then you need six of the same size as those ones so again one and three quarters by eight and a quarter and these are going to stick in each of these panels these two inch panels that we've just made so you can see like so so first of all I'm just going to burnish so what you want to do is your first score line on the the, uh, the left hand side here is just fold that one down then the next one up then down up and down so your two outer ones should face down and if I lift it up there you want that shape okay so you will have three mountain folds like and two valley folds okay and that is the cut that's the basis of the card so it is really really easy to do and if you want to burnish it a little bit more you can do I'm just going to run my fingers along that one there so there you have it easy peasy now the quick fun bit is the decoupage. Now if anybody hasn't done decoupage before you will always have um, numbers 
to tell you what order. So you've got one, two, three, we've got an extra here and four. The extra you can layer up even more or you can just keep it and use it for something else. And then the little one here, he will go on top again. So I'll just quickly show you, pop them all out. A good quality decoupage will pop out really easily and it won't have any um, lumpy bits. So um, again, these are very good. So pops that one out. This one's got this inner piece that comes away like so and this is what I used when I made those little mini book um, I'll share the link for those because they were really popular now what you would do is you would put um, foam for, um, double sided foam here and all on this area here and there's a little bit of there to come away as well and then you just stick it directly on top again and now that's lifted and it creates that shadow um, then you would get the next one so number three so this one here just pops out and that will now go on top again and again, I'm going to give this lots of dimension, so I'm going to put number three on again to lift it up even more. And then this little one is going to go on top. And you're just basically putting them over the exact image that's underneath. And then the happy times is the last piece, and that goes there. So I know I've done it right because I've used all the pieces. That can now all be thrown away. And then you just need to stick it all down. So I'm going to go ahead now and get that all stuck down with the foam. Okay, so there you have a really nice topper. So it's you can see there all the foam in between each layer and you finish off with the little, the, the smaller layers will be the ones that are on the very top. Um, and I just think these are just fun ways to kind of almost, I guess, cheat a little bit because they're really easy to do. It's all done for you in terms of die cutting and you've got something that looks like you've spent absolutely hours doing. So that's now all ready and that is going to go in the middle of the card like so. And now I just need to decorate it. So we've already burnished it and put it in shape. So now we just need to grab all of our front pieces. Obviously, if you've got a pattern and the direction, all that kind of stuff, make sure it's the right way. Um, now this one, I shouldn't have jumbled it all up because they do they do uh, line up together. So I'm gonna just work out, oh, there we go. So I've got one, two, and so on. And I'm gonna stick these all in. You will have a nice little even border um, around all of the sides there. And I'm gonna get them all stuck down. Okay, so that's now all stuck down and you can just see the lovely shimmer on the top of that. And I just think even like that, it just looks really, really fun. So now I'm going to do my little piece to attach it so again just grab your scoreboard and this piece here so i've got it matching my main um, card base so that nice baby blue color and then basically what you want to do is just along so this is a piece of three and a half by one um, once you know how I do this in a minute, you can have this any size you want. All you want to do is whatever it is the length that you're doing, you want to find the halfway point. So in this instance, it's one and three quarters. And then from that, I find that one um, half an inch is plenty to attach to whatever it is that you've got. So in from that middle point, you're then going to come... So in this case, I'm going to go right and do a quarter of an inch score. So it's going to be now at two inches. And then again, that middle point and then do a quarter of an inch to the left hand side. So it's one and a half. And you just create that half inch um, piece in the middle um, here. Then do a quarter of an inch further. So now two and a quarter. And on this side here, you're doing one and a quarter. Okay, so whatever it is, that, whatever length you're using, find the middle point and then just do a quarter of an inch score line either side of that. So you're creating that half inch and then you want to do another quarter of an inch on each side so that when now fold the two, fold the half inch piece, so the very set, the middle piece and then fold the other score line out. So you're creating that and again with that. And because you've done two quarter inch ones, they fit flush and flat underneath the half inch piece. Okay, so if you do one inch um, middle piece, then you would do two half inch pieces on each side. So that when it folds in, it all goes flat. So now what you can do with this, if you want, is trim it down. But basically, this is going to go over like so, so that that stays together on this corner here and basically it now means that when you're using a corner of any of your cards by doing this little kind of mechanism you can have a sentiment front on like so you don't have to do two score lines and have a flat panel like some cards do you can just have it 
directly on the front. So I'm going to trim it down a little bit. So probably now I've got about half inch on each side, like so. And then I'm going to put glue on that front half inch, like so. And then you want to lie down whatever it is that you've got. So I'm going to have it about there, like so. So I'm going to pop this in the middle. Oh, you want to stick this down first actually. So popping that in the middle, make sure it's nice and straight, like so. Okay. Then pop glue on these pieces here, like so. And then you can do it flat if you want, but you just want to make sure that you get this lined up. So I'm going to hold it up and just kind of look down on it here. But you just want to make sure that these pieces are together and it sits over there. In fact, lie it down flat and it should just go in. Let's do it that way. Just push it down and then I can lift it up. Yeah, it's fine. So as long as you line it up in the centre there, just move that a little bit, like so. If I lift this now up, you can see how it's attached inside there. Okay, so you've got your... Just push it down, obviously, in your fingers. You just want to make sure that that piece, each of the side pieces is hanging over. This one piece is on this side and one piece is on that side and then the rest is stuck and you can see now how that moves. So now you can fold in these pieces like so, just make sure they don't clip and then the whole thing go flat and that will go in your envelope. So that looks really presentable when you bring it out and then the person will see it and then they can pull these pieces out and you will have your card. So it's a really simple one. I mean, the papers are so cool, so I don't know whether to do another sentiment or something. This is going to be a birthday card, but that's how it looks. But it's just got really, really fun. Sorry, my battery just went. I just had to plug in my um, camera. So there you have it. Just a really fun. You can obviously have that wherever you want. You can have more here, but I just love these papers and I just want them to be seen and... It's about ice cream and being at the beach and fun things like that. So that's a really cool birthday card. So I've got that one and the other one, which will stand up like so. You can see them there, how they both look. And like I said, they can either fold in that way and have them flat. But I think that looks quite nice. I think that looks really quite cool when it comes out of the envelope. And then this one here, I always turn them over. Oh, I haven't put my panels. And then you will need to stick your two panels on the back as well, like so. I'll do that off camera because it's just the same. But always turn your cards over when you put them in their envelopes just because you don't catch any of your lovely embellishments and stuff on the front. And then that one just slides inside the envelope. Seal that shut and we've got some really nice cards. So there you have it. So really quick, really easy. Um, I can dress them up a bit more if I need to, but I just really like to kind of demonstrate the different folds and um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So that's today's card. As always, please hit the like button if you enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.